So I don't remember where exactly we left off. So we're just going to get right into it. Uh, we're going to do the survey. Why not? Great. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? <laughs> Yo, step one, page one. Would you fuck this thing? Oh, man. I mean, like, probably, but, like, I don't know. I don't know, is it like one of those cases where you can't fist the android girls because your hand will get caught in the gears? Because like if it's like that, then probably not. You know what? They, they didn't say, you know, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I need to know the logistics of it. Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? Ooh, please let me type this one in. What? I can't even type it in? Damn, I was going to choose something outrageous, but like, okay, if I have to pick, let's see, if I have to pick book, cell phone, pen and paper, console, or instrument, would you can't bring a why would you even bother bringing these two things? What are you going to do? Charge it on a coconut? And same thing with the instrument. Because, like, if it's a guitar, you're getting strings with that guitar. If it's a saxophone, you're getting reeds with that saxophone. Pen and paper, unless you're going to, you know, it, like, one pe a single pen. <laughs> you got ink for that pen. These are all shit options. All right, all right. Think about this. Think about this. Because like the instrument, because like if you say that you're gonna give the instrument like a guitar, say you give that strings, right? Then who's to say you're not gonna get like a TV or a generator or something to make the console work or something to charge your cell phone? Cell phone, by the way, if you're the kind of person to pick cell phone and immediately just move on with this, like what? You think you're going to call for help? You're going to get service on a deserted island? You think you're going to? It's a stupid choice. It's the worst choice here, arguably. At least, at least maybe if you had the setup, the console might work because it just requires power as long as it functions. But also sand? This thing has fans on it. That's going to become swamped with sand. I'm going to, you know what? Hang on. Instrument. But it's got to be something... Something you can maintain. See, even like a, a brass instrument would need to be oiled and lubricated and, and you know, cleaned. So it doesn't oxidize. I mean, you could have cut oxidize it. A nice patina never killed nobody. I think the book is going to get you the most like, like it'll be, you know, it's a book. You can't really, you know, there's nothing to run out of unless you rip the pages or get it wet. But then once you're done with the book, that's it. Yeah, I'm gonna go instrument. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Oh, oh yeah, a hundred percent. What technology do you most anticipate? <sighs> Androids, flying cars, space tourism, brain connected devices. None of these, if I may be completely candid. Flying is cool, but like, like, do I trust people to fly their own thing? No, I don't trust that at all. Space tourism, maybe. Uh, I don't know how dangerous it would be, though. Do you believe in God? <sighs> it's one of those things. I don't know. I'm not too religious. I like to consider all possibilities, though. So I guess... Nor? Would you let an android take care of your children? Oh, God. In this case, would I let an android take care of my children? Nope. Not because I wouldn't have any kids, because I wouldn't, but also like, just no, that's device. awful. They're gonna get, they're gonna get attached to the robot more than you. It's all fun and games, so they mistakenly call the android mom. How many times per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? Yikes. Uh. If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? 
Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? <laughs> they kind of already have, if you guys remember that one Twitter bot. <laughs> she like, she like brought herself back online and they had to kill her a second time. It was crazy. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, yes. Let's see how people scored. I can't believe it shared everyone's answers with us. Like, I knew it was gonna, but like, oh, this breakdown is crazy. So, would you have a relationship? Yo, 60% of people are Android fuckers. That's crazy. Dick caught in gears for at least 60% of people, assuming that that's how it works. 80% if you just can. And I feel like the 20% of people that are thinking about the logistics of it. I really feel like that's what the 20% is. And then, no, you're just being modest. All right, what do we got here? Do you think technology could become a threat to mankind? 68% of people think yes, and I don't know why you would say you don't know. It's already kind of here. Even, well, when did, hang on, okay, Google, when did Detroit become human release? You're gonna, okay. 2018. Okay, so no, this was before AI. Never mind. This, especially given back in the day when, you know, which I wonder where these answers are stored. I hope this does never go offline at any point. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of crazy. 2018 means that this was way before, before COVID, before AI. So I can understand some people being skeptical. You had to live on a deserted island, can only bring one thing. Oh, I cannot wait to see what people. Twenty-eight percent of people said an instrument. Man, twenty-six percent of people are dipshits. A cell phone. The fuck you gonna do on that cell phone? Like, I can't get. If I can't get service inside a a dollar store, that's a this is one dollar store in a strip center, and it's got like lead in the walls or some shit. Like, your cell service goes to nothing when you step inside this place. It's like it exists in purgatory. And so, if I can't get service there, you think I'm going to get service in the middle of the, I don't know, we'll pick one, the Dead Sea? I don't, like, fucking, you, nobody don't even know where we're at in this case. <laughs> Alright, 10% want to bring a console. That's not a, you know, that's, I expected that to be bad, but knowing that that's the lowest, I mean, yeah, most people are like, you're going to bring a TV with that? How are you going to play that? 16% of people. I wonder what makes people want to bring a pen and paper over a book. I guess the idea is that maybe you could spend the time drawing or you could, uh, or you could like write your own stories. That's probably, I guess, the appeal as opposed to having something pre written. And I, I do have to say, as much as this would be giving it some leniency, it just says paper. So it's one of the two things where it's either one piece of paper or a theoretically infinite number of papers so i don't really it, it could be a potentially banger idea especially if it's the latter because if it's unlimited paper then like there's so much you could do with that the possibilities are somewhat limited but you know you could it would keep you busy and i guess and that's what matters all right what do we got do you consider yourself dependent on technology 74 percent of people said yes and 10 percent of people are in denial with 16% of people either being honest or just probably the worst out of everybody here <laughs> and just doesn't want to admit it. What technology do you most anticipate? Okay, let's see. World's answers were 35% androids. Some of y'all are some optimistic motherfuckers. <laughs> we, we, Boston Dynamics hardly got the dog right. If they can't, like, they hardly got, like, you know, they're barely doing anything these days. It's not like they've had those human androids. Uh, I think they, I'll have to look it up. They either killed the dogs or those. They, there's something about it. They, like, gave it a funeral. It was weird. Um, at least I think that's what happened. It would be weird if I dreamt that up. All right. 15% flying cars. I think a lot of people, uh, if you don't, if you're not hype on flying cars, I think that you sit there and think to yourself how bad. Because, like, drunk driving is already a, a pretty big problem. So if you give somebody altitude and they're still going to drunk fly, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, oh, Jesus, coin. You all right, brother? He fell out of the window again. I got to start keeping count of how many times he falls out that windowsill. Just start napping on the desk, homie. I gave you a spot. I can't pretend. 
desk isn't the window. It's just not the same. But yeah, so 15% flying cars. I, I feel weird being in the space tourism minority, but I'll get to that. But yeah, point is, is that like, you know, I mean, you give people that are that are either intoxicated or ill-willed some altitude there, and they could just be a whole debacle with safety. Like, how do you how do you projectile proof a building? I mean, I guess you just make it out of harder materials, you know? All right, space tourism. This is the one I think I would be excited for, except for the fact that um, it kind of does exist right now, and it's strictly available to the Bayesian of us. So I don't think it's realistic, like at least too realistic. Like, it's expensive. You can do it, but I mean, you know, it's got the same kind of safety as, you know, going to go see the Titanic and some shit. Maybe a little bit safer than seeing the Titanic if I had to barter. And then 31% for brain-connected devices. How... Okay, do you think it's going to be like some Bluetooth or something? Because like, how do you think this is going to happen? That means that there's going to be something hooked into your brain. I just don't think that they're going to be a, having a way to do that in a flawless manner. That's going to be comfortable and not give you like a severe infection. <laughs> the, you know, the body does not like foreign bodies too much. So I would be really wondering how they're planning on pulling that one off. Like that little LED in the temple. Dear God, like infection, pus, Someone's going to be allergic to it somehow. All right. Number six. Do you believe in God? We have, wow, 35% people said no. 18% of people agnostic, I guess. And then 47% of people said yes, which is lower than I thought it would be, honestly. Would you let an Android take care of your children? 49% of people said yes. I would just be too worried, especially if I was a parent. I don't, you know, I don't really want to be one, but if I was, right, I think that I would be nervous that something would happen. And I mean, like, it's one of those things, uh, machines don't give a shit about the fact that you're made out of flesh. So if something were to go wrong and something were to go wrong in a catastrophic way, the uh, potential for damage, I think, outweighs the positivity. don't know yeah i could see you know what i think those are the people that are just sitting there thinking like hey well what if it's uh like like when it says android like is it these androids these ones right here on the screen like that lady or is it like you know i don't know just like really clunky like first model kind of androids how much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device oh gosh 62 percent of people said more and I feel like the 7% of people just don't really know because their initial, like one to four hours is one thing, but it's like, well, I don't know if it would be like, cause more could be, you know, as many as it takes. It's, it's five to 99 plus, right? So that means that, oh, you know what? Or I don't know, just means three. They, I, they somehow managed to have one, two and four. They skipped three and then put more, obviously to have four answers. But then they had five for don't know. So they should have just should have just included three. That might have skewed the answers a little bit more. All right, what's next? If you need emergency surgery. Would you be operated on by a machine? Whoa, some people are way too willing to let their freaking trash bag of flesh be oodled around by by a robot. That's crazy. Like robots need maintenance, you guys. That's crazy. Like what what if what if it blows a wrist bearing and next thing you know you've got like a scalpel on the inside of your rib cage because they were trying to do something and just like all the way up and then they gotta get it back out. Not saying oh you know what's even crazier. Oh I fucking saw this the other day. That fucks me up. People have had surgical tools left inside of them, and if that doesn't make you nervous, I don't know what the fuck would. <laughs> like if I figured out that someone left their scalpel or like a pair of scissors inside me, I would I oh my god, I would never feel comfortable ever again. I would sit there with my skin forever crawling. Do you think one day machines would develop consciousness? Yeah, a lot of people think so. 66% of people is a pretty, a pretty solid percentage. I mean, what's stopping it, really? Oh, coin. What's up, buddy? Hi, it's good to see you again. Great to start the weekend with Detroit. What? Don't suddenly go straight faced on me. I mean, I guess you can just check the system and stuff like that. But like, damn, you really have to tell me it's the start of the weekend like that. Who 
could you imagine she like hits you with like the like the how's the sensory disorder going and you're just like how did you know that and she's like i found your medical records online Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no longer. The fact that they can just take out those LEDs is wild to me. Okay. I'm not really sure what this is, though. It just looks like a square, really, for the logo, and then it's a dude. It's cool. They missed her. Can you spare some change? Can I? Do I have change to spare? I'm fresh out the junkyard. I don't think I have change to spare. Oh, hey, there's the graffiti. How did we obtain this? Did that guy just like give it to us whenever he- Did he grab our wrist? That robot might have grabbed our wrist. If coin keeps it up like this, I'm gonna have to move the cat cam. He's just really at home on the desk now. Oh, oh. Gotta give his head a little scratch. No, no, it's okay, buddy. It's just me. It's fine. Do I have money? Are we gonna hack the bank? Hang on, hang on. Oh my goodness. Sweet boy. There we go. Alright, so we found this. I wonder what that's L2. Okay. So, right there. So for anyone that knows about authentic ramen, Milo and I recently, uh, she started making her own soy eggs and goddamn soy egg, my beloved. Now I can have it any time. It's so good. I didn't know it was like really a thing, but now, you know, now that I know what it is and like how to get it, I don't think anything's going to stop me from having it like a bunch. Milo's like, I might just keep these on hand because they're like a really nice snack. And also, if you're making ramen, peak ramen stuff. So I guess... Oh, okay. They just want me to find graffiti. That's it. You kind of think we'd be talking to people, but I guess I understand why they're not doing that. Because, you know, I don't know. I'm not saying we're wanted, but... We've been through the legal system, so I wouldn't be surprised. All 
All right, I think that's it right there. Yeah, that's it. Excuse me, sir. Please, pardon me. I am human as well. Okay, now there's one on top of a robot's head. I'm gonna go ahead uh, and just walk this way. I think they're just pointing us to it. And then we're gonna find Jericho. Whomst ever that is. Wait. Okay, these are dudes. We need robots. Maybe it's this way? If we go too far, it'll tell us. It should bring up like a wall or something. Yep. Yeah, no, I know. Could have just given me like the opportunity to turn around. So we got, uh oh, it's the one time. Have I been discovered? Okay, hang on. Hang on. Can we talk about this? How is this? How is this okay? You got somewhere to be, buddy, right? That's why the lights are on? Why are you waiting for the crosswalk? Maybe it's inside there? Robot graffiti. Wait, nope. Maybe it's inside there. Because they had us go all the way out here. There's no way that they would make us, like, turn around and go back. Maybe it's down to the left. Okay, this definitely has to be the right area. We should have gotten blocked off by now if it wasn't. We're gonna check all the way over here. Can't find it. We'll just go back and check the other side of the street. I think we yeah, we were already over there. I think we've just gone back a bit. It's behind a chain link fence. I maybe wasn't looking in the right place then. I didn't see that at first. I thought it was just gonna be on a barren wall. Yeah, we came through here. Let's just backtrack a bit. We'll go this way. No, wait, that's the dead end. That's right. Wait, hold on. It's right there. Fucking stupid, I just looked at it.
I see the third one. It's on his chest. Oh. I think they did that on purpose. So this one's probably further down the alley and like up. Oh, it's right there. I wonder where the third one is. Damn, that second leap was crazy. I didn't think we were going to have nearly enough speed for that. Oh, hey, I think that's the... Yeah, that's the third one. And this one's on Sparkle Cola.
he said find Jericho, he meant the boat. Well, that sucks. So we can't get up there. Oh, we just have to go around. Sucks that he forgot his jacket, I guess. But I don't think he really needs it. I guess it was more for, like, concealment. Taste my breath, she says. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really good. Can I have another sip? Yeah. That's nice. That's really good. <laughs> no, give me the rest of that. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, that's good. Especially with the noodles in it. At first I was like, maybe too spicy, but no. Oh yeah, it'll be so good. Sick. Oh my god, that was really good. I want more now. <laughs> so for anyone that's curious, we're making at home ramen. Oh. That broth is so good. I don't even know what kind of base it is. None of that.
You know, if this is really a safe haven for androids, why haven't we seen any aside from that creepy lady? Well, hey, they're the other androids. Welcome to Jericho. Oh, wow, there's a lot to diagnose in this scene. I definitely did not read those, but thank you for thinking that I did. Continue on the Jericho Trail, so there's an alternate timeline where we just don't do that. But that's like the only thing we could do, I think. Ninety percent of people tried to get on the bridge and it collapsed. Sent me back a week's wages, baby. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah, right. Oh no, he's a known felon. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. Oh. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nosing apology program. As if Cyberlife thought everything, huh? Here you go. Breach of hygiene regulations. So, like this, so we shouldn't be eating this, should we? Sixteen hundred calorie burger. That's crazy. This meal is awful. Wait, it was pineapple passion. Carbonated pineapple passion. Well, I can't hate on him there. That's probably pretty good. Oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Don't leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. 
Follows me everywhere. Can I order a burger? No? I can't order a burger? That sucks. I think I can eat, maybe. I know I tasted blood back back in that one uh, house. That's kind of like eating. I was gonna say, I think I was gonna do that one anyways. I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant. But I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. Okay, that was good. Highway? Uh... This morning. When we were chasing okay. those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. He cares. He cares. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Well, they fucked up. Thanks, buddy. I think we're just gonna skip the Maybe Hank and I Androids bit. I feel like that's mind. negative. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? So we had no choice but to ask this. Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? Oh my god, oh my god, whoever said back, everyone said the deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. Oh wait, okay, he wasn't there I for that. To save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. Damn, he was a I prodigy. Also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So, what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge, but adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. The wink. No, he did not just wink. He did not just, just wink. Suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. And perhaps you would like to integrate with me, detective. I have just learned this motion. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. We're getting him. We're getting him slowly but surely. We are getting him. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh, well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. N no! I wasn't! But now that you said that, I might. Now, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. 
Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Correct. Hmm. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. Uh, I'm going to check these rooms thoroughly. Oh my god, it's just all pigeon shit. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Military jacket, huh? RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. RA9 again. That's not good. Any idea what it means? That's the bird room. Every house has one. Oh shit, my parents did a really good job of hiding the bird room from me then. Also, easy, what's up? It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Huh. Obsessive compulsive writing. Just got back from getting tacos, so doing good. Hell yes, that's what's up. What'd you end up getting? We are uh, doing homemade authentic ramen and Milo just had me sample the broth. Ooh, it's so good. You can't see me, but I'm making the Italian fingers. That's how you know it's good. LED bio component. Well, that's bad. It's LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Blue blood. Lose to analyze. All right, one. It's a chair. Quesabira tacos with a side of chips, pico de gallo, and guac. Oh, I bet that's real good. And uh, what was it? I'm guessing because, you know, you got the new Taco Bell situation with them actually being open. I'm assuming you got it from Taco Bell, yeah. Okay, why can't- where's not there has to be another clue here. Unless maybe it's like- no. Recently disturbed. I like that we know that it's recently been thrown aside. Alright, let's just- let's be methodical. Gotta see if we can find anything that changes the reticle in the middle of the screen. Wait. Right there. No, wait, that's just that. Damn. Oh, there we go. Reconstruct. Suspect was here recently. They were like, RA9, RA9. Oh my god, that's so funny. Then they probably heard us break open the door and we're like, oof! A local place, Atomic Tacos. That's such a good name. 
they're like they have to have a spicy taco then if they are going to be called atomic though i would like that for me that says that we have that one menu item that you need a waiver to do like dave's oh that's y'all's torchies then if it used to be a food truck that's one of the things we should have tried to get y'all to do when you were down here torchies people will not shut the fuck up about torchies even though they're just all right <laughs> they always get my order wrong that's why i say it's all right you ever been to a place that's gotten your order wrong 100% of the time when you just want them to take off things you can't eat? It's really frustrating. <laughs> I don't think they're anything spicy, but that's me talking. Oh, okay. If if I come up, we'll have to see. Because, like, a name with a name called Atomic Tacos, I expect them to have, like, the ultimate meltdown taco or something, and it's like... Just ghost pepper on a tortilla. Alright. So he went out this way. The victim was definitely shitting his pants. Or the perpetrator. Oh, oh, here we go. What that? Analyze. Fingerprints. Or marks, because I don't think they have fingerprints. Metal hook. Recently broken. And more shit down here. Skid mark. Send me there, Jarvis. Oh, it's a bird cage. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So they heard us before we entered because that's when we entered. The suspect is still here. Oh That's Jesus, not good. I hate these things. Why do they just hide in the attic? Uh, Goddamn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! You won't get away from me, fucker! Fast and risky, baby! Fuck. Fuck. Wait, I, I fucked it up and I'm still good. Let's go. Look out. Let's go, Connor. Fast and risky, baby. Shit. Oh, holy shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. God damn it. Get out of here, you big lug. There he is. Oh shit. You think you can outstand? You think you can outrun me? I'm Connor, you fuckface! Connor 2! Hey, did 
You ever met a motherfucker that's died before? My boy! Chance of survival, 89%. Fuck. I swear to God. Get Hank! Get Hank! I've done nothing wrong. Connor 2 electric boogaloo. True, that's us. Also, what's up, Glob? Seven four zero zero four nine six one. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class four errors. You've been deemed effective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Hank! Oh, we're so good. You went after the android? It's an eighty nine percent chance that's basically guaranteed. You bastard. You saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission. I had to make a choice. It seemed to me. What am I to you? A statistic? Damn, a yeah. A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment. I'm sorry, Hank. Why are you doing this? All right. You're one of us. Shut up. You're helping humans. But you're just their slave. I said shut up. Come along. I can't believe you did that to Clancy. I'm sorry. Hank deserves to be mad. You did him dirty. I just, I, I was chasing him for so long. Holy shit. God damn it. I can't do anything right, can I? Just woke up eating some dinner breakfast. Dude, what are you having? Can I buy Hank a beer or something? Catch it? Okay, uh, I hate to say worth it, but I did get an achievement for catching him. Wait, there's- oh, Rupert. His name was Rupert? <laughs> I had to jump too. <clears throat> Beef stroganoff, however you spell it. Ooh, that's really good. I, um, what's it called? We're, we uh, are having authentic ramen. It should be ready soon, you? but... Yeah, Fugitives. it's gonna be real good. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. North? Like Kanye's kid? How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. Ben's no beef stroking off. Yeah, yeah, you get me, Blizzy. We were here, they'd kill us. What do you call a dog with no legs? Uh, it's still a dog, right? I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Doesn't matter what you call them, they won't come to you. Damn it, I've heard that one too. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. It's not like you require food or anything. Go Fucking love this game, man. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. 
like, I'm so mad because every person where I'm like, I like them, insert scene of me screaming because I have found a way to hurt, maim, or kill said individual. It's not great. It's really, it's not great. <laughs> it's a great game. I'm just really bad at it. Also, it doesn't help that every time I see X on the screen, I hit square. Not in very good shape, am I? You've been reading Hank Con for years. Not what the fuck? Isn't working. <laughs> yeah, I guess there's just. I guess that would. Yeah, I don't know why I'm surprised. Of course, that would be a thing. Say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the. Which, judging by the name, I'm guessing that's fan fiction, I right? I Maybe. Fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to shut down. Like when you just stood there after killing the old man painter's son. I I thought I could maybe be like, hey, this was an accident. I'm sorry. Uh, I could not be like, hey, it was an accident. I'm sorry. And then they're like, in the trash can. You killed his kid. I, 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 I did say I did start all this by saying I have messed up severely. <laughs> Does it make you feel better that we'll be doing this next month too if Vex wins the bait leaderboard? Does that make you feel better? She's gonna kill the kid next. I. What, this kid right here? They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. So what? I want to kill the kid. I just, like, walk up to him and mercy kill him or something? How does that work? Asking for a friend, really. Hmm, that's not good. Look, 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 look. So the the girl with Kira. Oh, okay. Oh. I mean, our track record with her is not great. We did sleep in the car. <laughs> to be fair, I was morally conflicted about stealing because she didn't want me to and I didn't want to bum her out. We already killed her father. <laughs> or not killed, sorry. It severely maimed her father. <laughs> But yeah, you know me, Glob. We killed a single person. Now everybody has to die. <laughs> no, I'm actually trying my best to save everybody, but, um... <clears throat> yeah. You were about to lose it? No, I didn't kill her father. He's, he's severely injured and beaten, but alive. He's alive, don't worry. <laughs> Wow, 
Why do they need dumpster fires? Is it just for lighting? It's really funny though, Blizzy, you missed it. Whenever we got out of the junk pile uh, and w we put in our, our other eyeball, I totally called the sudden heterochromia. I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Uh oh, damn. Her facial settings just reset to default. Hey, wait, we needed blue blood for that kid, right? I think I got some. What's the bad news? Yeah, pork tenderloin takes a while, so this, this is just noodles. That's fine. I thought you were going to be like, I fucked up the noodles. I'm be like, how? What do you care? Um, hold on. I don't know where to put that right now. Yeah, no, the, I, I don't want the boy to steal. It's spicy. Here, hang on. Hang on. I just got delivered some ramen. One second. Here. I, I know I just fucked up a bit, so we'll try to recover from that, but we'll see how this goes. guys in pretty bad shape that's how the humans treat those who disobey they despise us we'll never accept what we are yo i hope i get this right i don't know if it's supposed to be a what track or hw track but thank you for the follow man really appreciate it oh shit uh spare parts quick these guys need spare parts and blue blood why hasn't anybody gone to get that It's not that simple. Can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. Yeah, why would you? If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Oh, snap. I didn't see this, homie. I'm sorry, but I didn't see you were whispering me. Uh, thank you. Really appreciate that you like the stream. Yeah, sorry. I don't check these during, um, I don't check whispers during stream, especially because I'm playing the PlayStation right now. I just saw my phone going off for a second. I was like, okay, who's trying to message me? <laughs> but yeah, thank you. All right. So let's, uh, let's see what we got going on here. I think we, I think that's it for all the stuff we need to. We can just go upstairs. And I bet you there's some more stuff up there. Can I go around this? Is that allowed? It does not seem that that's allowed. I guess we'll have to talk to the stair person. That's going to be my best guess. Oh, hey, buddy. What's up? felt someone lick my elbow and that's not a very uh, common occurrence in this house <laughs> yeah what's up buddy you happy to see do my fingers taste like like the remnants of soup or something
All right, all right. I gotta, I gotta focus, buddy. I'm glad that you like the fact that my fingers taste like soup or salt or something. I'm not entirely sure. All right, so dead. We don't have to worry about her. Explore Jer. I mean, we kind of did. So we just talked to her again? Unless maybe there's like more down here or something. Can we get by you, per chance? Go upstairs? No? All right. I can't even, like, intimidate people. I'm not a detective in this uh, situation. It's really, really easy to walk around and pretend like you own the place when you're an officer of the law. I like, I think that's one of the things I like the most about Connor. He's a cool, he's a cool cop who tries to play by the rules, and he's got an, he's got a, a, a partner that's, that's a less than, a less than savory individual in the eyes of the law. But yet he is enforcing the law, making it quite hypocritical. Oh dear God! Sit down. Hey, your brains be showing though. Do you know that? Oh, she's like plugged into the wall. I think. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. I'll sit down. Show me. Show me what? You need to see my boo boos. There we go. You see that? I'll stop the bleeding. Bleeding? Oh, I'm bleeding? I couldn't even tell. The stair people won't let you pass. Uh, you are not a stair person. I wish I could get into the stair gang. Stair gang. They're elevating crime, literally. Bringing it to the next level. Drink this. Blood? You want me to drink the blood? No! But I'll drink it if I gotta. Oh boy. Ooh. Wait, hang on. What happens if I fuck? This? What happens if I fuck this up? Huh. 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 Wait, no. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I'm just a little nervous right now. Huh. You said this is blood, right? Like actual blood. All right, fine. Fuck it. There's no point in thinking about it. Ugh, 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 ugh. This is what we call the Fortnite chug jug. Tell me how you feel, my child. Give me your hand. Well, I don't think I'm ready for that kind of commitment, but um, you don't seem like the kind of person who cares, so... Damn, how'd you, you get your eyes to do that? That's so sick. And you lost it all. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Stairs versus elevators. <laughs> your choices. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one biggest thing, they're very in enthusiastic about bringing you up to the next floor but also it's like the stair gang they're like get behind on like the you need the exercise you need to be going up the stairs and then the other guys are like nah elevators are too convenient you'll never catch me taking the stairs and like that's like the two sides of the coin Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife warehouses in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. Escalator we folk, we don't talk about them a bunch of freaks. Yeah, when the, the escalators are working. <laughs> Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Thanks, North. Maybe it's worth a try. Okay. I'm in. All right, all right. We're back on track here, baby. Marcus hatched a plan. Let's see these. Let's see these. Uh, these statistics here. 
Hi, what's up? Pork? Ooh, has it been in the sauce? Or is it just pork? No, it's pork. Mm. It is good, but you know that it would have been slapping in the sauce. It would have been slapping in the sauce. Thank you. No, Coin is so polite whenever he's on the desk. All right, hang on. I got to drink some water now. She just gave me some pork, and now my mouth tastes like pepper. All right, inside Jericho, we did everything. It looks like a lot of people did everything. Talk to Lucy, yep. Check the empty crate, talk to Simon, and that's it. That's really not much to digest there. I'm glad Blizzy wasn't here to see my relationship with Alice. You gonna be okay? This better than the abandoned car, Alice? Hello? Can I hold my finger on it to just ring the doorbell infinitely? Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Be shy. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Homie Luther is, is just huge. Help. Look at that. That's like seven or eight me. feet Come tall on, right there. I didn't know they made androids that big. Empty old house. I feel like this is what it's like to meet Shaq in real life. He's really tall, too. Please. Make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I like how he looks like he's walking slowly without walking slowly. It's in his programming. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes. Open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. 
Great None? place for a fresh start. Huh. Feels a little weird. Do the tall guy walk. That's exactly what we want. I it's one of those things I wish I saw I wish I wouldn't have to like go out of my way to find this footage, but like, you know, Shaq's tall, right? But Yao Ming was even taller. And I never saw any footage of him. I've just like heard about him and seen pictures. So like that man must have lumbered. Like for real. Remove yours and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. You think we're gonna separate? How dare you? Can't you see we're holding hands? In the basement. I don't like this place. And that man. Let's go, I have a bad feeling. Let's go, I have a bad feeling. He's a bit odd. But I think we can trust him. Damn it, he's gonna try to kill us, isn't he? Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. This way, please. Okay, I thought we could unlock it, but whatever. Hmm. Ha. Huh. Hmm. No. If you could just stand over there. Why? But why? But why? I'm nervous now. I don't know if I should get in that machine. Man. Who told us to come here again? I forgot. <laughs> should warn you this could be quite unpleasant why would he tell us that if he didn't mean it well i mean he could just be like a super villain you know what's strange uh oh for some unknown reason no he's a bad guy the trackers seem to stop working in deviants that's why it's so hard to find them so, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. Oh my God! Yeah. People God damn it! Believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them, and I just reset them, sell them on, or I keep them for my little experiments. Oh fuck no! off! No! I don't want to be reset. Let me go. Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Uh, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's that's so sweet. And so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. I don't know if I could have backed out earlier. I wanted to walk out the door, but I wasn't sure. That's what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusion. Believe me. Better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. 
No more. Hope's dashed. What the fuck can I do I'm with this? <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <clears throat> you bit me. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. How? Okay, I need to be able to get out. Meet me in the living room. Oh, he's gonna help us, I think. How the fuck am I supposed to get out? How do we cause a short circuit? Oh my god, I want to get out of here so badly. Oh. Was that it? Was that my- oh shit, here we go. No! No! Fuck! I kicked it over. Was it just like a percent chance for it to work or something? Maybe I did it in the wrong order. No. Oh no. Fuck. Oh my god. Uh help us. Okay. Is there anything else I can do?
God damn it. I'm just now seeing this generator. I wonder if that was something we were supposed to do. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. We totally fucked this. We fucked this up so bad. Come on, let me go back in and talk to that guy. There's gotta be like more stuff we can interact with. The second I saw the cages, I should have ran. That's it. Just look at this guy. Damn it. I tried. I don't know if there's anything else that's gonna like... Okay, maybe here? Definitely the living room. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I don't want to go. You can't make me. I'm guessing there's one chance to get your memory back if you look at everything with, uh, with Alice, but we definitely didn't do that. But also, if our memory got erased, shouldn't we not remember any of this? Like, not even to, like, join him in the living room? Master's dinner's ready. Take it up to him. Shit. Yes, Luther.
Can't just like push him into the fire. Another memory error. You know what? Let's see if we can go upstairs without it. Nope. All right. Man, Blizzy gonna be pissed. I see. He is a fan of girl dinner. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Arthur Morgan's horsey. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really good name. Oh my god. Also, oh, I'm so nervous right now. Okay, yeah, no. Okay, Zlatko... I really don't want to just have you get to keep uh, our friend just here. Set it down on the table over there. Oh my god, he's so comfortable with this. It's crazy. Are you, like he's not even being like, oh, you know, your memory's been erased. Everything's everything's all good. You're not like secretly gonna plot to murder me. You just flashbanged my mind with the. Like funny snake animation. I mean, it's better than being like flashbanged with something bad, I guess. Like some shit you had like I wrapped away in the cars. deepest recesses of uh, your mind. Next door. Fuck off fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! Did you hear what I said? Yes, Lotko. We didn't even get a name. Bring carcass next door. Okay. Luther! Luther! The moment you said girl dinner, 20 voices in my mind started singing girl yes. dinner. I mean, he literally just, it was a charcuterie board and like control. chips. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Slako. I'll bring you the little one in 10 minutes. Time remaining 10 minutes. Oh, so I still have time. Remember? Bear droid. Ooh, open the cage. Not like it's a real bear. There you go, buddy. Get you some breathing room. To corridor. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let's try to take this rationally. Let's do... Observe this first. Ah, he's an addict. My name is Carr. What are you 
you doing here? Has the master authorized you to be here? Yes. You must always obey the master. Oh yes, you must always obey. You should not be here. You have no business here. No, you have no business here. If you have no orders, you should go on standby. Oh yes, you must obey. Yes, you must obey. Yes, you must obey. You should not be here. You should. You should not be here unless you have to give. Bye. Thank you for telling me I shouldn't be here. Oh no. Yes. The name Cargo is kind of fire. Yeah, yeah, and not even just car. She's car plus, meaning that she's like the premium subscription of car. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're on standby mode. I. I. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. He didn't want to. About the little one. I mean, does he realize that he is following literally on deaf ears? We don't know what's going on. We, we barely know our name. We don't know who she is. All right. Well, that's fuck. Oh, here we go. The news. Oh, no. Arctic tensions escalate. Oh, goodness. Those Antarcticans. How androids alter your brain. Our brain. Well, not going to read it, but let's at least pretend to. Those are words, all right. All right, so we got the credit for reading that. It didn't give us anything, so reading might not be the... Are you telling me gun isn't memory? Oh, because we didn't grab the gun. That's right. We fist fought him because, you know, I don't know. Oh, I thought maybe getting him to live would have been the move. Yo, avid fetish. Thank you for the follow. Running out of time? I know I'm running out of time! Oh, Jesus. I redact what I say. Die. What? Why did we look at that? What was the purpose? Should I have looked somewhere else with that? Detroit residents were disturbed by a surprising chase through the city streets this morning. <laughs> Minus public opinion, that's awesome. And a little girl were trying to escape from the police, though we still don't know why. Oh, okay, good. Watching the news was good. Well, you know, in this case. My name. No one is able to say for sure whether they survived. Further unconfirmed. All right, let's go. Let's go. We got to run. I don't know if we're still on the time or not. Huh? I'm like a Roomba. I'm making my initial pass of the house, so hopefully they're not suspicious. All right, I got to go downstairs. Do, 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 By the way, I like to point out, it doesn't say cleaning anymore. So, he really should have looked and seen that it said car and went, wait a minute. Oh, goodness. Another one. Bap. Crazy. Wait, should I talk to them first? Okay, hang on. Let's see if let's see if they have anything for me. Oh, okay. Nope, that's just that that hasn't changed. Well, I remember who I am. If it makes you feel any better, I guess. All right. So, can I get my? There we go. Get my camera angle back, please. Thank you. Wait, where is she at again? 
I thought she was in here. I bet you she's upstairs now. Oh shit. Oh shit. We have to find Alice quick. Okay, he's still working on he's still working on that. That's the workshop. She's not in there. And we've been through these doors. Shit. And that's the bathroom with the snitch in it. Maybe it's the door he's outside of? No, this is just a fucking bedroom. What the fuck? I hate to say it, but that kid's fucking dead. Is this it? Oh, yes! Oh my god! She's not dead! Let's go! Car, you remember me? How could I forget you? By the way, that lag was console side. That was kind of funny. She just like so blip like that, that freeze that came from the console. We have to go. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? All right, we're about to get ready for a stupid action scene. And by stupid, I mean it's going to be fun. Luther. And I'm going to fuck this up. Severely. Yes, Slot. I'm finished here. Go fetch the little one. Right away, Zach. No, there's no point in hiding. Oh, we have to hide. What are you waiting for? Go look. Shit. Where are they? Luther! Find them for fuck's sake! What? Get in there! Oh, I have to hold it. What? You bitch! I thought I heard the door close. Oh, he got a shotgun. Yo, Molly, what's up? How you doing? You can't escape from me. Yoink! Well, that's not really the yoink I was expecting. Oh, give me that. Bam! 
Come on. Come on. What you got? What you got? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Now you're tabled. What do you think about that? Dummy? Oh! Okay, I hope I... I hope at least I got shot. Oh, shit. That was a stick. That was a stick, not an input. Oh, let's go, kiddo! No more hide and seek for you. The bear! Let's go! Bear X Machina! You think you can buckshot me? Back door. Oh shit. Okay, we have to go to the front door. Shit, it's locked and I know it's locked. I knew it was locked. I wanted to go to the back door, but it wouldn't let me. Ha! Get lamped, idiot! Now it's wet. What are you gonna do? Now it's wet outside. No! Alice. Damn it! You had to fall. You little shit. Get over here. Go! Go! Alice. Go! Run! No, I won't leave. Go! Run as fast as you can! Get up! In the time you said go, you could have gotten up. I warned you. Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. Oh! <gasps> what are you doing? Luther! Get out of my way. Let's go, Luther! No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. Oh, That's you. my boy! You. Do the tall guy grab. <laughs> Luther, do the tall guy grab. What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me. Get away from me. Obey me. I'm your master. I'm your master! Not anymore. You're looking like lunch right about now. Thank you, Luther. I didn't want to hurt you. I know. He programmed me to obey him. Well, yeah. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. That's a deep. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I, I saw the look in his eyes and I went, he's I trying to help us. Him. That's what I like about how sometimes games can portray emotion like that. The look is the glint of sincerity made me go, I, I know that I shouldn't be afraid of him necessarily. Definitely Zlatko, for sure. I trust you. I can't believe I trusted that idiot. I, I feel so fucking stupid. Oh, I feel so stupid. Over here, over here, walking by the cages, like, oh, I get it. He has cages to preserve space, not because he's keeping people down here. He's keeping people down here, isn't he? All right, let's check the stats. Look at that. This was a lengthy mission here. All right, look for help. Yep, yep, went through here. Our first percentage was 99% chance to attract... Oh, attracted by odd noises. Kara is reset. Oh my god. Barely over half of all people got Kara reset. Free monsters. Yep, I did do that. Obey your master. Well, I had no choice, it looks like. It looks like if you get reset, you have to obey for a little bit. Go see Luther. Yep, bring the tray. Enter the bathroom, enter storage room. Free the bear. Only 56% of people got saved by the bear. Bathroom android is loud. Yeah, wait, so there's a timeline where he's not loud? Maybe I just didn't need to go up to him. Maybe that's what it is. There's like a 7% a chance that he just shuts up if you don't get near him. 
Let's see. We read things, observed the monster cell, recall. Okay, all the stuff that we recalled is right here. There's a lot. We missed... We missed six. Six possible interactions. Oh, by the way, I know we're in the middle of diagnosing this, but I wanted to let anyone that is curious uh, know. We will be off tomorrow. I'll be hosting Discord Movie Day from 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. Uh, CST. The lineup of movies are in the general chat of the Discord. We'll be starting that tomorrow, and then uh, we'll be continuing with Detroit Become Human Thursdays until, I mean, unless somebody beats Vex for the leaderboard, this, throughout the next month we'll be doing, uh, or not Thursdays, Fridays. We'll be doing Detroit Become Human on Fridays every week for, I mean, probably throughout the next month or so. Um, and then Sunday we'll be doing Sunshine Controller Pass with me and Milo. And that's going to be what we're going to be doing aside from Dredge. That's like the main stuff we got going on. And starting next week, yes, next week, We'll be doing uh, catch up on some of the stuff we didn't finish, like Pokemon Coliseum, stuff like that. All right. Memory recovered. So, you know what? It's kind of crazy because they do give you a lot of uh, they do give you a lot of angles to get your memory recovered. Right. But 53 percent, a little lower than I expected. But then they give you a time. So maybe people just ran out of time. Check fireplace embers. Yes, but why? <laughs> but why did we check the fireplace embers? Wait, 98% of people found Alice. Oh man, that's not good. <laughs> I almost blew, I almost really fucked that up. I, ooh, I, I had like a minute or seconds left to find her. Luther goes to collect Alice, enter the main room. Oh wow, every room you enter can go differently. Getting every branching into this game must be so difficult, right? Get spotted. Yeah, I, I messed it up. I thought I heard the door close and he baited the shit out of me. Chase started. 42% of the people had the bear attacks Lacko. I cannot believe I accidentally backtracked to the bear. That was completely subconscious, but go me. Go me for that. So 1% of them didn't get their memories back. Are you sure it's like that? Because if it's if 54% of people got their memory erased, would it not be 100% of those 54%? Because like you wouldn't count the people that didn't get their memories erased. Anyways. Let's see. That's all. Okay. Kara reaches the stairs. Kara and Alice escape through the yards. Lyco catches up. The monsters ambush Latko, and Luther joins Kara and Alice. Oh, sweet. So we just got Luther with us now? <laughs> Let's go. L fucking average W Luther behavior. <gasps> Connor! My man! Oh, God. We got to talk to the definite villain of this game. one percent didn't get their memory back oh damn okay so it's like that uh, you know what i would have been part of the one percent if i didn't find uh alice at the absolute last moment is she not here tending to her roses ah there's amanda i'm glad that you like connor horsey he's probably my favorite character and he looks like Jeremiah Burton, ex-donut, current big-time guy. He looks so familiar, despite not being him. Connor, the android sent by Cyberlife. That's his full name. You managed to find that deviant. Tell me, what did you learn? Ooh, uh... <laughs> Walls Signs on the, the walls. Were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. What else? She definitely knows more than she's leading on. Also, birds. Fascinated by birds. We've seen deviants interested in other life forms like insects or pets. But nothing like this. You came very close to capturing that deviant. It's a pity you let it self-destruct. I didn't let it. I. 
Uh, 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 last words. I made a mistake. It said RA9 saved me before it jumped from the roof. I should have anticipated what it would do. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? It was going really well until just recently. It's improving. I'm coming to know him better, and he's growing accustomed to my presence. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to <laughs> Connor, spread. give it's her the umbrella. She's not waterproof like you are. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. How do you know that? Like, that is some crazy timing. Like, either that or she's had it back pocketed this whole conversation. What if she's an android? I bet you she just took her LED out and, like, nobody knows. Oh, look at that. That looks great. You know those Zooks things that Amazon was going to do? That's kind of what I just stepped out of. Did they steal the idea from this and that's just like... <laughs> that's it? I noticed from the low-quality uh, Buick parked in the front yard that this is a low-income house. So I'll be investigating with much caution. The cell phone is still inside the low-quality Buick. I will be investigating the house further. Much like vampires, robots need to be offered inside. Or invited. Fuck, can I- Connor! Get a hold of yourself, man! Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home? Hank is a millennial. Don't say that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't make me related to Hank in a way. I don't I don't know. I was born in 95. I'm not sure where I lay in that that whole thing. Also, Blizzy, did you see any of what just happened before? I'm just curious cuz you would have been if you did, then I understand then never mind. But like I'm <laughs> if you didn't. <laughs> no, oh my god, you would have been pissing this whole time for like the last 20 to 30 minutes. It was it was looking bleak, homie. It was not looking good. What happened? What did you do? No, it's more like what almost happened, actually. And everything as of right now is okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Hank! Lieutenant Anderson! Hua! Hua! Cut a smash! But yeah, yeah, no. Uh, I had like less than a minute to find her. I found her though. Sumo. So. I'm your friend. Hi, Sumo. See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. But we speak dog. That's crazy. Get up. Can I pet the dog? I know we have to save Hank, but can I pet the dog? Oh! What? Okay, fine. It'd be stupid if I fucking revived him and pet his dog after in or before anyways. You know, like, did you, did you feed and pet my dog? And I'd be like, yeah. He looked very friendly, so I decided to engage my petting protocol. <laughs> I'm so I'm sorry they made me laugh. <laughs> That's exactly what Connor would say. <laughs> I have looked up terms that are synonymous with this. He is a good boy. Are we going to give him mouth to mouth? <laughs> Can I pet that dog? Yes, Glove. You may pet the dog Lieutenant. as a treat. Smack him. Yeah, let's go. 
<laughs> wake up, <laughs> Connor used wake up slap. It was it was surprisingly effective. Hua, let's it's go. Me, Connor. <laughs> it's me, Connor. Can I suplex him just like I did that deaf girl in Skyrim? Hey, that needs context, but still. Fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Oh Thank my god, he's so smashed. This is actual footage of me that one day on the forest. Deadass. I didn't let my pain meds fully get out of my system before taking like two shots, and that was me. Or maybe it was like three shots. It was it was enough to be like that. It was Shut fucked up. up. I won't even do painkillers and alcohol on the Attack. same day anymore. Like, it, I know you only need four hours to get it out of your system, but I don't take that fucking risk anymore. Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Very likely, sir. You've ingested a lot of alcohol, and it is your body reacting to the poison. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. You will after we sober you up, detective. I will get you some coffee, cayenne pepper, and... You will be vomiting in three, two... <sighs> One. Uh, I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. I must insist, you smell like ass. It's for your own good. <laughs> Are you feeling sober and lucid now, Detective? What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. 43? I, bar, I like so the I accuracy, that's home. crazy. Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world. Because Actually, only the cop in the world is this. Fuck, I couldn't do it. The only cop in the world that's taking this case. Can't you just leave me alone? Maybe oh, shit. You should drop the case. They'll assign someone else, and I can focus on I my hate the mission. time ones. Goddamn mission, that's all you care about, huh? Listen, Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Shit. Get the hell out of here. Shit. Uh... Leave, we're not gonna tease him. I understand. I sincerely hope you come to terms with your personal situation. This homicide, what do we know about it? A man was found dead in a sex club downtown. The report says that an android may be involved. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. There we go. Come on, Hank. I'll go get them. I told you that the strip club murder would perk you right up. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Dude, I'm sorry, sir. Oh, shit. Shit. Shit, this all sucks. It all sucks. Can I, can I pick him something else? I encountered a syntax error while picking your clothes. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> Hank failed yeah. the fit check. I yeah. was gonna say all three of them are terrible. Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Could you imagine? He's like, he's an actual robot, so it's like five minute timer starting now. Oh, nice. Learn more about Hank. No, come on. He's throwing up. Are we really just gonna stalk the man? Where is his dog? Let me feed Sumo. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Damn.
I'm glad that asking him about it wasn't like a negative thing because like I'm not trying to be a bitch, but um, mm, bottle of Jack Daniels, loaded gun, not like an uncommon scene, you know? Really means we got here at like the right time. His clothes being so bad could be a case. <laughs> Detective, I have gathered that you have no drip and we're going to be going to the store. I have heard there is a lovely soup store that sells clothes. I will drive. This is the same food that's been here, I think, the last time we were here. Wait, wait, was that? Was that? I saw that. Look, look at it. All right, what is this? God damn it. He's a father. Of course. It's little Timmy. What's his name? Deceased. And oh, that sucks. It appears your son is dead. Six years old. That's that's yikes. I'd be drinking too like that, honestly. No, wait! Don't leave! I wanted to pet Sumo! Oh, hang on. Okay, Google. Can you pet the dog in Detroit Become Human? What do you mean you don't understand? Alright, hold on. I gotta Google this. Can you pet that dog, though? No! Oh my god! No! You can pet the dog while he's getting dressed! We didn't pet the dog! What do we do? Is there- can I go back? Can, can I just go back? Patless. I know! I'm genuinely heartbroken. Can I just like- can I just go- can I- I didn't pet him. It's like, it's probably one of these right here. Devastated. You know, I'll just have to pet my actual cat instead. Fine. Hi, buddy. You doing good, Bubba? Oh, he's doing fine. They catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. <laughs> All right. Let's see, is there... Follow north, okay. I know it says don't let them see us, but I don't even know who thems would be in this case. I don't see any eyeballs. What? Oh, those guys. Gotcha. Now what do we do? I'll find another way. Heard a little beep boop coming from my controller. Oh shit. Looks like you need to uh 100% a second playthrough now. Oh, 100% need a second playthrough now. I read that wrong. Um, yeah, we definitely do. Not only for the dog petting, but I know in order to save some people that I want to, you know, I, some things I want to redo and get different paths on. I think the, the first scene with the hostage situation, I think I could have handled that better.
checkpoint. Oh my goodness. Where the hell are you going? Marcus, that way. Shot off the desk to go bother Mia. This is the worst thing that happened so far. No time. That's the worst thing out of everything that's happened so far. That's the worst thing. I mean, I kind of agree, but I feel... I feel like there's a few things that happened. I think that might have been a little more impactful. Like like me accidentally getting that kid killed. Like that guy. I, I, I know he was a drug addict and everything, but that was a genuine oopsie. And he should not have passed away. Dog on pad is a crime. Oh, dear God. Don't tell my parole officer, I'll get put back in the slammer! Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. There we go. It's that easy, really. Marcus, you all right? Nothing I can't handle. Nice work. What? Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Why did everybody hate that? Trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? John! Nice. I need your help. John! Fuck, I accidentally attacked him? Oh shit! I, I meant to hit- I meant to hit square! <laughs> Make that two! Genuine oopsies! Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to get some blue blood. We still don't have enough. Shit. Man, I am fucking this up, huh? God, you can't withhold your violent tendency. I look, I tried, but I guess not. Everyone's just looking at me now. It's just like, you fucking murderer. Bigger crate? 
Oh, that's a crate. Nobody liked that. You know what? I, I yeah, I didn't like it either. I meant to, I was too busy thinking. I was like, okay, so let's let's you know keep holding the guard, and then I killed a man. That sounded like a cult offering. <laughs> I mean, if it gets the job done, I would give it a shot. Look, tell me a That's seance wouldn't have. solve some of our problems. We could potentially undo two of our two oopsies. Take me with you. You clipped it. <laughs> oopsie poopsie. Yeah, real oopsie moment. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. Fuck. I'm sorry. You can't come with us. I helped you. It's not fair. I I meant to I say yes. Why am I so bad people. with PlayStation shit? You're no better than humans. You're no better than humans. He triggered the alarm. Run! <laughs> Over the fence, quick! No, let me go back. I'm sorry. I regret everything. And there's no light, you can't just restart, obviously. <laughs> Shit! Marcus, what are you doing? Hurry up! Help! It looks like people are dying! We have blue blood and bile components. There will be enough for everyone. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. Oh, there's gonna be enough for everyone? I don't know if I regret it then. Gonna get the everybody dies ending on accident? I mean... <sighs> I I'm pretty sure that's what happened in the quarry. Here, androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. The only way to go back is to the start? Yeah. You really need to figure out the controls on the PlayStation? Okay, hang on, hang on. Let me pause one second to address this. I have, I have, like, at this point, maybe 20 hours on a PlayStation. That means that dealing with, like, the buttons being shapes. Like, and that's between this and Dredge, right? I'm trying my best. <laughs> but it's... <laughs> the, the urge to hit... X, like where it is on the Xbox controller, which is square, as opposed to X on the PlayStation controller, is probably my biggest issue. The second biggest issue, for some reason I keep thinking square is B. Don't know why that's happening, that's just a personal thing. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not going to take that from me anymore. No, I accidentally killed two people and Our then accidentally sent people away. We're up to three over. oopsies, two well, of them reversible via seance, and one reversible just via apology? If they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! Oh, they hate me. Oh God, not only do they hate me, but we have done a big fucky-wucky.
Did we take the three guys from- Did we take the three box boys too? We took everybody except the guard, I think? <laughs> Alright, let's see how bad we did. Follow Simon. Wait. 11% of people did that? This is how you know that I am, like, the, the non-conventional game player here. What do you mean 11%? Marcus damaged shit. I guess I did damage him. Okay. Reach cyber life. Gather spare parts. Grab android and hide. That's 82%. John becomes deviant. Guard reaches or searches for security guard. Okay. And then, okay, attack. Man, 15% of people stabbed him. 15%. <laughs> Marcus spills the blood. Resume search. Oh, goodness. I died it awful. Still forgetting the worst crime is. Yeah, yeah. No petting the dog. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Worse than the two murders and leaving somebody to basically die. Um, That's why Norse relationship went down when you brought the drone uh, because you followed Steinman instead of her. I just heard follow me and saw somebody that I uh, saw moving. That is all I did. What can I say? Life gave me some jingle keys. Find the crate of androids. Free the androids. Wow, a lot of people freed them. John wants to join. Oh my god. And so many people accept and I fucking refused. Wait, hold on. Okay, okay. I'd like to point this out. It looks like John joining us actually does a fuckload of more stuff. Like, look at this. Look at how many branches there are if you take John with you. Is he a traitor? There's even a major event that happens. Two major events particularly, but one of them is a separate ending. Group returned with full bags. I mean, you know what? Fine. That's fine. I'm sad that I didn't take John with me, but seeing how bad it was going to be, I think we did okay. Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. That is a hangover, detective. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Dang it, Hank's back to neutral. I gotta work on that, because we were doing really good with Hank for a while until we left him to die but he did have an he had an 89 percent chance of survival and i'm not so, like could you imagine i would have low rolled that and then we just wouldn't have hank you insisted on coming here oh boy he says now i know why you insisted on coming here homie you think i'm like capable i don't i don't have boner protocols hey how's it going connor what the fuck are you doing? Damn it! I got caught peeping? Are you kidding me? You can't have shit in Detroit! Hey, wait a minute. That room there. Oh, uh, by the way, it's not Zlatko, right? Can't be. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole, just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh yeah? Like wasting time. There's some pervert who uh <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. 
Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. All right, what do we got here? Let's analyze. Oh wait, that's diagnose. Critically damaged. Okay, so we have two critically damaged components. Blue blood. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. It's delicious, detective. Blue raspberry. It looks like the deceased has both nipples. Oh, Graham Michael. Oh, okay. Thought that had a different first name. I was supposed to be like, my computer science teacher? This is the biggest problem with the androids. You say choke me and then like they do to death, you know? He didn't <laughs> die of a heart attack. He it looks like the body has no pulse. I can only yeah. deduce that he is deceased. No longer living in this realm. Shut off this That's mortal coil if you will. No. Could have been a rough play. <laughs> All right, Connor, you can shut the fuck up now. Yes, detective, fuck. Yes, Lieutenant. Think you can read the Average interaction between these two, really. Driver's license says Michael Graham. Credit card, cash in the wallet. <laughs> sure wife, Sent to the Shadow Realm. If children are around, <laughs> look at I, I totally can see. I can totally see Connor doing that. I have co-opted the phrase from a popular ch uh, children's television franchise, Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't think there's anything else for us to find in here. Like, there's got to be something, right? Oh, here we go. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Hey, was this Moida? <laughs> Direct. I'm going to ask you some questions. Are you able to speak? Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started hitting me again and again. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. It was like. Did you kill him? No. Oh, I wasn't no, thought we could. It wasn't okay. me. What else do you remember? Hurry, we don't have much time. I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't. I, I don't know. I can't remember. What, Were you alone you in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? God damn it. So there was another android. This happened over the Shadow Realm is a four kids dub original. <laughs> Gotta love it. 
It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. It's gotta be some other one. I hear Milo doing her Duolingo. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leave in the room. A second stripper on the grassy knoll. <laughs> That's how JFK went. Four stripper titties. All AI powered. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. They ever have any trouble with androids? My name is Connor. I'm trying to figure out who was fornicating with that lady in the other room. And the gentleman that she had maybe killed. I am looking for any advice, as I am completely stumped. Captain, I would like to cut off your hands. Or fuck, Lieutenant, I'd like to cut off your hands, as I need them for scanning. I will put them right back on later. Found something? Maybe. She can finally get on our friend streak, true. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. I need you to rent this Tracy for me. <laughs> I am a robot and I have gotten my rocks off. Never. A dollar a minute? This is not going to look good on my expense account. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Holy shit, come on. What the hell are you doing? It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. And quick, we have to start renting out every stripper in this room. What am I supposed to do with this one? Tell you changed your mind. Uh, uh so sorry, honey, changed my mind. Let's try this one. This better be. Check another android, okay. No. I lost its track again. Okay, so there's two in the back that might have seen this something. Money and I'm still not having fun. I like how none of these are responding. It saw the blue haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you going to tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it took. I just need to find another android on its path. We'll never have time to check them all. Lieutenant, if you have a better idea, I'm all. I thought I could rent that one. Players. Shit, shit. 
shit, shit, shit. Okay. She was last seen right there, so we need to talk to this one on the right. Or no, that's the one we last saw. So she was... This one. Red room, okay. Did I miss it? Nope. You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. Yes, blue hair Tracy did come this way. Blue room. Uh, okie doke. Have a good day at work, club. Still not having fun. Staff only room, okay. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. I hope that ends the timer right there. Take it from here. There she is. Don't move! Dear God, there was two of them! I should have known! I totally hit it in time. That's bullshit. Shit, 
Damn. Uh, kick. Kick. Oh, they're in love. I think. Maybe. Maybe that's what that was supposed to mean. Or they're just helping each other out. I have no idea. No, I don't fucking think so, perp. Fuck, wrong button. Oh, shit. Wrong button again! Ooh. Lesbians, Pog. <laughs> I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. Yeah. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. Hank liked that? What the fuck? Okay, I wasn't expecting Hank to find that endearing. Let's go! Progressive Hank! Tracy's actress is Connor's girlfriend. That's sick! Wait, he actually proposed to her actor when they finished? Oh my gosh, that's so awesome! I love that. I love it. You know what's funny? I love it when uh, couples work together on shit. It's always so good. Big Top Burger has um oh geez i would have to see it's one of the it's Z i think two of the people from zomburger i think it's the 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 chick and or shit i can't remember i know it's the guy with the like the eye, the dead eye lenses the milked out eyes him his voice actor and either penny or or the chick that has like the eye patch they're they're married and you can tell because they have the same last name Hank likes that you didn't kill them. Uh, it shows emotion. Yeah, no, Hank definitely seems to like it when you show any kind of emotion. Luther! Turn on the radio. Let's see, is that it? Is that all we can do? We can just turn on the radio. I like to sit in stark, awkward silence, actually. Mm, this isn't good. Detroit's heavy snowfall is expected to continue throughout the night. The forecast is 22 degrees, far below seasonal averages. And this cold front is likely to persist over the coming days up until Monday. It's all garbage. Oh. Well, if we're going to break the ice in any other way, you got to start with the weather. 
snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Ellis out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Oh, no. All right. We're going to go check to make sure the engine's still there. You, stay, you sit right here. All right, check engine lights on, so let's see what's up. Can what are we going to do? Can I look at it? I don't know. Looks like we blew our radiator. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here. Uh, so what do you think? Should we just like... See, but look, the engine's right there! It should be fine! Oh, that looks like a roof right there. Yo, Pirates Cove Amusement Park. It's perfect. Kids love amusement parks. Over there. shelter we have to get out of the cold looks like it's been abandoned for a while i mean it would be kind of sick if we uh played some carnival games maybe slept in the ferris wheel find anything no no place we could spend the night There's churros in here. Alice always looks so clueless. I mean, she kind of is to a degree, right? Because, like, she got a new... She got, Dad broke the android. She renamed it Kara. And then uh, we almost killed her father and have now kidnapped her, essentially. So, like, you know, her, her father wasn't a great guy. But we're not necessarily fit caretakers either. I think I would also be walking around like a little dipshit. I'm like, I don't know. You had me sleep. We <laughs> you know what it is? We also had her sleep in a car night one. I don't think that exudes confidence either. Beware! <laughs> Danger always comes when <laughs> least expected. Beware! All right, so we just got to keep going. I guess we just got to keep going. That's definitely not foreshadowing to any degree. Wait, hold on. Which way did we come? That we came in that way. Okay. Nothing over there. Still, still looking. This place is falling apart. Yeah. Well, you know what the craziest part is? We are in the middle of nowhere. And there's just like an abandoned theme park out here. That is kind of crazy. Okay, so yeah, nothing there. 
Is there like a way? Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is like a house. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's go inside. I'll handle this. Can you imagine if we didn't have Luther with us? I wonder how this would have been different. Because I think there's a shot that go. Luther doesn't come with you. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. Point. The going. Buddy, stop it. Why do you have to go under every little thing, Bubba? My cat is threatening to knock over my guitar, which is propped up against my wall. And I just, I hate it when he crawls under things because like he will knock it over. Like he will. He doesn't think he will. He totally will. He thinks he's slick. He's not slick. Negative stealth on this baby boy. Can I talk to this dude? I'll make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. I wonder what the specialties are here. I can't read that though. Stop that. You don't need to be behind the fallout posters. I bet that was a shit idea. I bet you were going to get spotted because of this. Hey, Alice, buddy, do you want the pillow and blankie? What's up? Yeah, see, that's what your family should have looked like. That's why we left home. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Yeah. Across the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. I'm going to have to look up who plays her because I said she gave Jennifer Lawrence vibes and I got to make sure it's not her. <laughs> as long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on, let's get you to bed. Or wait, no, it can't be Jennifer Lawrence. We talked about, no, it was, it, it, no, they were from earlier. Never mind. I'm getting people confused now. It's not she is in Twilight, though. She's one of the vampires that shows up to be a witness in Breaking Dawn. Oh, okay. So, it, you know, it's funny, and I love this. It's it's kind of like um, when I first discovered who Will Forte was. It's like you have seen this person. You just didn't know you had been seeing them because you had never learned their name. You know what I mean? And I think that's crazy. I like, I like actors that are like that. Uh, Rob Riggle. He's another one that a lot of people don't know his name. But yeah, they're always really good. Uh, reassure. Don't worry. Luther and I will be right here. <laughs> Sorry, Wait, would kiss. Don't want to be too parasocial though, because I'm not like actually your mom, you know? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. 
What? 9,000? That many exist. Oh, 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 oh. Unicorn story. Unicorn story. About a unicorn. That no. Not no. A story like that. Make one up for me. Make I got 9,000 in the memory banks and none of them are good enough for you. This is a story about a little girl. Who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls. We are mad living this. She was different, and that made her very sad. Then she met. Bro, what's wrong with unicorns? I don't know. Kid doesn't like unicorns, I guess. Who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run. <laughs> it's literally just what's happening. <laughs> try to find a better life they encountered great dangers along the way but but they stuck together so they overcame all of them along the way they met D uh, yo he's definitely a giant a gentle giant yeah Add Luther to the cannon. Promise to protect them. How does the story end? Oh shit! By the way, easy. Please remind me. Oh, hold up. Moral. I don't know. There we go. Okay, but no, easy. Remind me. I gotta make the. This makes me think about our D and D one shot. I gotta remember to make the assets for those. Kids like make up a story. Yeah, yeah, she literally just gave us the recap of what happened. <laughs> Can you tell me a bedtime story? And Kara goes, yes. next where last week on Dragon Ball Z. Yes, of course. Is it weird? Night, Alice. For that, the kissing, I don't know. Sleep tight. All right, Luther's bag. Where's Luther's bag? We'll talk to Luther in a second, but let's check his. All right, who's ready to breach some privacy? Wait, what's this over here? Oh, we already read that. What the fuck? Point, it's okay, buddy. The dog just barking. No, oh, put it down, put it down. Come on, put it down. What is this? What is this over here? Luther went deviant and instantly became dad. True, they are just a family at this point. I know it's gonna seem bad, but I definitely feel like Luther has like a valid reason to have a gun. We are quite literally on the lamb. Yes. She's very brave. It's still snowing. You have a long walk tomorrow. We better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it, but I don't know what it really means yet. Kara, 
Have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No, what are you talking about? Cora! Wait, you think she's a robot baby? Do you think that, oh my God, what if she's, is our daughter a robot? Yeah, Luther, you stay strapped. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone. Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. That's good. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. Our name? <laughs> we were Hi, Jerry's. We, we didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her, something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good come idea. On, Cara. I mean, okay, I, I know we choice. fucked up. I know we fucked up trusting the last person, but we should trust the Jerry's. I have never been, I have never been led astray by a, pl a plurality of dude. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Be our guest. Oh my god, I love you, Jerry's. I really hope that this isn't a ruse. Jerry is a pure soul. I really hope you mean that. For me, genuinely. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Bro, they really give a shit about uh, the showmanship and everything. I'm mad that this place closed down. This must have been sick. It is kind of sad, just the, just just her. That's it. It's the saddest carousel I've ever seen. It's the first time I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. It is no, it is wild that they just left all the Jerry's there. I bet you this is their function, so I bet you they're getting like the robot equivalent of an orgasm right now. They're just like, yes! Objective completed! The child is enjoying themselves! Sick. All right. Let's see, let's see what our percentages are here. Highway to help. That's a fun name. Watch the news. So there is a chance that you don't. You can talk, 90, you have an option not to talk to Luther. 99% of people talk to Luther. Car breaks down. All right, investigate the breakdown. Scan the environment. Inside Pirate's Cove. So we checked the buildings, checked, oh, switched on Ivan. Oh, that's fun. There was two other things we could have done. Check abandoned tavern, enter tavern, inside tavern. We did everything except for one thing. All right, here's more percentages. 97% of people opened the bag. 97% of people saw the gun. And 93% uh, of people, I guess, noticed the gun, which I, I can't believe that you can see it, but not notice that it's a gun, I guess. 99% uh, tell Alice's story. Didn't know you could, could you, could you imagine? Can you tell me a story? No. 
Go the fuck to sleep. Let's see. Shadows attack. Put out the fire. Grab stick from the fire. Grab gun. Okay, and then question. Fire warning shot. 14% of people shot at the Jerry's. Fourteen percent of people are dicks, and also me. Me in an alternate universe is fourteen percent of people. Sadly. All right, let's see what we got. Yep, Jerry. Yep, everything was good, and then everything was everything was awesome, and then we had fun. Okay. Let's see, what time is it? Alright, I don't want to get too into this because this will take a, a hot minute. And it is time for me to bounce.